بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ڈیئر اسٹوڈنٹس آئی ہوپ یو آل آر فائن بائی دا گریس آف المائی ٹی اللہ ٹوڈے وی ہیو فسٹ آن لائن کلاس آف بیولوجی ان وچ آئی ایم گیونگ یو اے کمپلیٹ انسٹرکشنس اباؤٹ ہاؤ ٹو اسٹارٹ یور بک اینڈ نوٹ بکس آف کلاس ایٹ سو دس از یور ٹیکسٹ بک آف بیولوجی گریٹ نائن سو یو آل ہیو ٹو بائی بکس all the books and notebooks must be with you so this is your biology book of class 9 in this book half of the chapters we will cover in class 8 and rest of the chapters we will cover in class 9 inshallah so move on towards your neat notebook first i am telling you how to fill your card cover As I am showing you on your screen, this is the card cover of your notebook with a stamp on it. So you will have to write the complete information in the block. First, you have a heading of serial number in the block, as you all are not clear and sure about your serial number. So leave this line and space. Then in the next line. you have to write your complete name with the first letter of your name should be capital and rest of the letters should be write in a small alphabets in the next line you will have to write your class a and then section which section you have you have to write your section here in this line then in the last line you will have to write your subject name biology Listen carefully all the instructions do not write with ink pen and blue marker on your card cover you have to write it very neatly and carefully now move on to the inside of the card cover here again you are not clear about your serial number so don't write your serial number here in the next line you have to write your complete name then section then class then branch girls to and session in which you will write 2021 till 2022 in this line and and leave half of the block so listen carefully all the instructions now you have to start your work on the very first page of your neat notebook do not leave any page of the neat notebook you have to start on the first page of the neat notebook write very neatly and carefully first i am telling you how you will write course contents on the first page of your neat notebook your page should be blocked properly lines should be straight and write all the headings with a blue marker the first letter should be in two lines and the rest of the letters in one line listen carefully all the instructions and closely zoom on your screen you have to write course contents first now all the headings must be properly underlined and all the headings must be properly shaded it from both the sides now the first heading is course to be covered in mid term this is your first heading and the first letter should be in two lines and the rest of the letters in one line with a blue marker the next heading is course contents The following units will be covered during mid term 2021. Unit 1 is introduction to biology. Unit 2 is solving a biological problem. So this is the course content of biology mid term. Now in the next page you have to write the paper format of class 8 biology. First you have to write the heading paper format then in the next line you have to write the heading subject biology total marks is 
and the time allowed for biology paper is 3 to 3 hours. You have to write your next heading note. This paper consists of three parts, part A, part B and part C. Attempt the section A on the same sheet. Marks will be deducted on cutting, on overwriting, on erasing, untidy work and improper paper attempt. Draw neat and label diagrams where necessary. Keep in mind all these points. Your paper consists of three sections, section A, section B and section C. Now the section A is the first section of your paper. You have to write the heading of section A on the page. The time for section A is 15 minutes and the marks for section A is 12. 12 MCQs shall be given. Each carries one mark. One appropriate bubble circle should be shaded. Options will be given in the form of bubble circle. So 12 marks for section A. And time for section A is 15 minutes. Now come towards the section B. This is the second part of your paper. And you have to write the heading of section B and the time for section B and C is 2 hours and 45 minutes and the marks for section B is 32. So 11 short questions will be given out of which 8 short questions will be attempted. Each short question carries 4 marks. Now the third section and the third part of your paper is section C. Four long questions will be given in your section C. Out of these four questions, three questions are to be answered and each long question carries seven marks. So the marks for section C is 21. Understand? So these all are the paper format of your subject biology. Now I am going to explain the first chapter of biology. The first chapter of biology is introduction to biology. Biology. What is biology? Basically the word biology is derived from two Greek words. It is a Greek word in which bio means life and logos means study. So simply we can say that biology is the study of life. It is a study of all the life exist in the universe. It is a study of all the living organisms present on the universe. Biology is divided into three major branches. Botany, Zoology, and microbiology. These are the three main divisions of biology. The first main division of the biology is botany. Botany is basically the study of plants. Plants are also the living organisms. So when we study about the plants, their study is known as botany. Example is study of mustard plant, study of trees, study of rose and all the plants in the universe. So when we study their structure, function, so this study is known as botany. So we can say botany is simply the study of plants. The second division of biology is zoology. Zoo means animal and logy means study. So Zoology is simply the study of animals. The example is the study of frog. Frog is also the animal and the study of human beings. We all human beings are also the animals. So in this branch, we have to study the different animals present in the universe. Microbiology. 
Microbiology is the third major division of biology. Micro means small. So, the study of all the microorganisms, all the small organisms present in the universe, this type of study is known as microbiology in which we study about the organisms which are small in their size, structure and shape. For example, the study of viruses, bacteria, fungi. These all are the microorganisms. So in this branch, we study the different microorganisms present in the universe. Following are the main branches of the biology. Biology are further divided into many branches. First one is the morphology. Second is the physiology. Third is the anatomy. Fourth is the histology. Fifth is the embryology. Sixth, taxonomy. Seventh, cell biology. Eighth, paleontology. Ninth, immunology. Tenth, entomology. Eleventh, genetics. Twelfth, biotechnology. Thirteen, environmental biology. Fourteen, parasitology. Fifteen, sociobiology. And sixteen, pharmacology. So these all are the branches of biology. Biology are further divided into many branches. Now I am going to explain one by one branch. The first branch of the biology is morphology. Morphology, the literal meaning of the morphology is the word morphology comes from the two words. Morpho means form and logy means study. So simply we can say that the study of form, shape and structure of the living organisms is known as morphology. When we study the form, shape and structure of all the living organisms like plants and animals. So this type of study is known as morphology. The word morpho means form, shape, structure. For example, the study of form, shape, size of animal and plant. The study of form, shape, size of leaf. For example, as I am showing you on your, your screen, this is basically a dog. And you can see the morphology of a dog. You can see the external structure of the dog. So, when we study the external structure of an organism, this type of study is known as morphology. So you can see the morphology of the dog on your screen. The different part shows the morphology of the dog. The second branch is anatomy. Anatomy meaning is to see internally. Basically, anatomy is the branch in which we study the internal structures of the living bodies. When we study the internal structure of the living organism this type of study is known as anatomy for example the study of anatomy of leaf and the study of anatomy of heart so for example so i am showing you on your screen when we study the internal organs brain lungs stomach veins pancreas urinary bladder pharynx larynx so when we study their internal organs so this study is known as anatomy. For example, the anatomy of heart, the anatomy of arteries, the anatomy of brain. Thank you.